Hey Aries, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a general reading for your current energy, so let's just jump right in and see what messages we get for you. And I am using the Light Seer's Tarot, and this is for Aries Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. Okay, we got quite a few cards jumping out. This is not a usual thing, but multiple cards flew out at the same time. Um, so it feels like the energy is very, very heavy. Not heavy in a bad way, just there's a lot going on. There's a lot of energies just in general. And maybe that's because we're still sort of recovering from that full moon that we had in your sign. Um, it was definitely an intense full moon. I'm not going to even try to sugarcoat it, Aries, you brought on some tremendous energy, um, which doesn't surprise me, right? Aries is ruled by Mars, and it is a very powerful planet. Um, and just in general, Aries is a very powerful sign as well, right? So I feel like there's something to that. And maybe right now, because of the fact that your own sign brought about uh, that full moon energy, you could just be going through a whole bunch of stuff, right? So we have the Six of Pentacles, Seven of Wands, we have the Queen of Swords, Nine of Wands, Knight of Cups, Hanged Man, which is Pisces. So let's see, let's sort of uh, break it down one by one. So with the Hanged Man, maybe right now there's something that you feel is keeping you stuck in this one position, right? Maybe you're looking for um, some sort of progress in, in a situation. You're looking for things to change. You're looking to see if there's something different right, than the last time that you checked on it, right, maybe this is a, the status of something, of a, um, you know, application, maybe this is about your career, maybe this is about a um, professional venture, right, whatever it is, I feel like you're, you're still waiting for something to change, right, the status is, isn't updated yet, and maybe that's kind of keeping you in this, you know, fixed position, maybe with that nine of swords, you're sorry, nine of wands, you're also kind of feeling like, okay, I'm not going to give up on this, but I'm, I'm starting to feel that pressure. I'm starting to feel like I've been waiting a long time, right? Maybe you're just kind of hoping um, for the best right now because this has been maybe a long time coming. We have the seven of wands. I kind of feel like with the seven of wands, you're, you're very much protecting your energy. I, I feel like you're not letting things get to you. It's kind of like you know, she has all of these seven wands pointed towards her, but she's very much in a meditative state, right? She's not really letting anything sort of get her out of that zone. And I feel like that's maybe what you're doing, right? As a way to not let this feeling of stagnancy keep you down. Maybe that Knight of Cups represents an energy that is related to a connection. Maybe this is a person that you're connecting to. Maybe it is someone that is trying to, to come towards you and connect with you. Uh, with the Queen of Swords, maybe you have placed or are placing a boundary at this time that you feel is necessary to protect your energy even more. And with that Six of Pentacles, maybe this is related to you feeling as though you need to see a little bit more effort from something before you're willing to give to it. But let's see if we can get some more insight. Um, at the bottom of the deck, we have the Page of Wands. So I feel like you're just open for something to come through. Let's clarify the... Hanged man. All right. And again, multiple cards coming out at once. All right. Let's just roll with it. So we have the Wheel of Fortune at the bottom of the deck. So I love that. I think that this is a confirmation from the universe. And I feel like this this is universe saying, Aries, it's not going to be like this all the time. I promise. It's, it's kind of like universe energy is trying to provide you with reassurance that even though things feel stagnant, they're not going to be like this forever. We have two of wands, three of pentacles, six of wands, right? Maybe this is related to a um, collaboration that you have right now. Maybe you're working with someone else. Maybe you're working in a part of a team and it's kind of like you're really hoping that what you do together is going to bring about some major success. And I kind of feel like this is the universe saying that it is. I feel like this is confirmation because with that two of wands, you're looking towards the future. You're making plans about where you're going to go, what, you, what you're going to do with this group in mind. And I feel like that six of wands is the success. It's the victory that you're going to have, which then will allow that wheel of fortune to turn. Behind the wheel of fortune is the strength, which is Leo. But I definitely feel like this is about you needing to be strong at this time to wait for this to happen. 
All right, let's go ahead and clarify the Queen of Swords. Okay, we have the Hierophant, which is Taurus at the bottom of the deck. Then to clarify the Queen of Swords, we have Queen of Wands, Four of Pentacles, the Five of Swords. So uh, maybe there are multiple people involved in this situation. Maybe that's why we saw that Three of Pentacles, because uh, we have the Hierophant, we have Queen of Wands, right? So it's kind of like there's a lot of different energies. Uh, we have air, we have earth, and we have fire. Um, with the Five of Swords, maybe there is a little bit of a conflict between you and another person. Maybe there's opposing ideas of what to do and how to do it. And that could be maybe creating a little bit of this feeling of not seeing progress, right? Because you and someone are not really seeing eye to eye on something and that could be, you know, creating a little bit of a delay. Maybe with the Four of Pentacles, you're trying to, you know, sort of be very careful about your energy and what you're giving to, what you're you know, investing in, right? It's kind of like you don't want to invest in a situation that is causing stress or if you're not seeing eye to eye with the person, right? Maybe this is time sensitive where it's kind of like it's either you give in to this or you, you give to this, you invest or you draw back before it's too late so that you, you're you able to manage your resources wisely. All right, let's go ahead and clarify the, let's clarify the nine of wands. It's like they either come out in groups or they don't come out at all. All right, let's see. We have the Eight of Swords on the floor. We have the King of Cups at the bottom of the deck. To clarify the Nine of Wands, we have Eight of Swords, Page of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles. So yeah, kind of feels like this is about a decision that you're you're going to make here. Because I feel like you have to make a decision, right? I feel like if anything, because things are in limbo, right, with this hanged man energy, I feel like this is you sort of saying, you know what, enough is enough. Um, I don't think I, I want to wait anymore. I think I want to do something about this. Because even that eight of swords, it feels like it's an uncomfortable energy, kind of feeling like stuck. There, I feel like there's nothing worse than feeling powerless or hopeless or helpless, right? All the less words, because it's kind of like, you know, we start to lose a little bit of our power there. Behind the King of Cups is the High Priestess, which is your intuition. So I feel like your intuition is telling you to do what's in your best interest, regardless of, you know, the the situation or the, the other voices involved. Because I kind of feel like with the Page of Pentacles, there's a major opportunity that is out there for you. And I feel like with the Two of Pentacles, the universe doesn't want you to wait on anyone to take it, right? Kind of like maybe this is your time to to embark on a solo journey or to really think about this from an individual perspective. But yeah, this one is interesting. I think I'm going to leave it there, though, before I confuse it a little bit more because um, I feel like it's kind of all over the place. But if you like this reading and it resonated, please give it a like, please subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.